Good morning, guys. Marvin Walker, CEO of Dayrunner here. And today I'm going to give you an overview of the Dayrunner app and what it looks like when you schedule a booking as a customer. So we're going to launch the app. <clears throat> I'm going to wait for it to load. And once the app loads, we're going to go through our various different vehicle types indicated here at the bottom. So you see we have a car, have access to a minivan. We have a cargo van, sprinter van, and box truck. So depending on your need as a customer, you can see the various different vehicle types available to you, how far they are in location and proximity, and the option to schedule that vehicle now or later. So when there's no vehicle available, the only option they have is to pick later to schedule, and they will select the date and times that they want that um package to be picked up and delivered but when we go over here to the minivan which I am registered as a user you then have the option to pick it now because there's one readily available a uh, real quick I want to show you that once you select that vehicle you see that it the icon will show you right there where the vehicle is in relationship to you now there's two ways to put in the address you could move the icon here, the green diamond, and put it on the location where you want the pickup to be made, providing that it's close to you. So if I wanted a pickup made at Alton's Kitchen, I would simply just move the cursor to Alton's Kitchen or simply go up in the top there where you see the address and type in the pickup address that I wanted. But for simplification purposes, I am going to use it today. I also want to indicate that you see as I move the cursor further away, from myself you see down below there the distance changes as to how long it will take the contractor to get to your location so you see it just went there to four minutes right so I am going to go and schedule a pickup from Alton's kitchen utilizing the minivan that I see is three minutes away and I'm gonna pick it now and then I'm simply going to put in some address so let's deliver something to New York and see what that looks like and when you get here you see the pickup location the drop off the vehicle type um, the estimated time the distance and the estimated fare right we'll then select our credit card on file that we would like to use and then we'll go down and select what we're shipping um, for today let's just say I'm transferring a motorcycle for Harley Davidson and we're taking it to New York, right? Simply select next. You could go through your um, book and your address book, decide who you're sending it to, and the country and the phone number. You simply select which country that person is that you're shipping it. Well, we're shipping right here in the United States today, and we're going to take it back to Ally Bank because we picked up a repossession for them, and we're going to confirm that booking. Now, once I confirm that booking, you guys are going to hear my driver's app going off. But I will show you guys in the next video what it looks like on my screen. So I will accept the job, go through the functionalities, and show you what it looks like here on the customer side once it's accepted. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that booking. And they will let you know right then and there that as soon as they find someone, they will let you know. So... I mistakenly didn't have my app launch, so we're going to cancel that booking, and we're going to do it over again. So I'm going to pick up at Alton's Kitchen. I'm going to pick now, put in the address, and run through the same motions again, guys. I apologize. I was quite not prepared. We're going to deliver that motorcycle. And we're going to take it to Ally Bank here in the United States. All right? And then we confirm that booking. And there you guys hear what it sounds like when a driver is accepting. Let the customer know, we'll let them know. And you see that it's searching for the runner, and you'll be notified as soon. So I'm going to accept the job. Like I said, and there you see the app shows you where that is routed out to. 
And then you will see down there the handsome driver's face, which is Marvin Walker, and he is driving a minivan. Now, the customer has the option to call the driver to go look at the job details or to cancel that booking at the bottom. But at the top of the screen, you will see that it clearly indicates that the driver, Marvin Walker, is on his way. Now, as I tab to the driver um, icons, letting them know whether I've arrived at the job, so the next step is arrived, and I will swipe it, and you will see once I swipe it, it indicates that Marvin Walker has arrived at your address. Then once I've loaded the motorcycle, I'm simply going to swipe to the right and let them know that I've started, and the customer will be notified that the vehicle has been loaded and the driver is on his way. Once I've gotten to the location, I'm simply going to swipe to let them know that I've unloaded, and they will see that the load has been delivered. And then the customer will sign for it, submit their payment, and just like that, the customer is notified that it's been signed for, and then they have the option to rate me, leave a comment at the bottom that Marvin did an amazing job. He's absolutely great. And then they simply submit it, and they are ready to make their next booking. There you have it, guys. That's a walkthrough of the Day Runner app, what it looks like when you're scheduling a booking as a customer. Um, and hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the Day Runner platform. Hope it makes life easier for you because you have things to do.